don't know how our resident student Mouse is going to feel about that. He's already made his appearance this evening, as he usually does. But a Staffordshire factory which makes ceramic cats has made an urgent appeal for a real cat. Despite making more than 100,000 pottery moggies a year, the factory has a serious problem, as do we, with mice. Just Cats and Company of Stoke-on-Trent make more than 100 different varieties and sizes of pop cats. They come in every shape, colour, breed and finish to supply cat lovers all over the world. This particular consignment is destined for Japan, but the factory has a problem. Mice. They're scaring the women, they're running around the factory, they're getting into the moulds, and now we must do, take action. So why haven't you got a cat? We've been looking for a cat. I actually went up to actually see one of the local cat's homes and pleaded with them, can we have a company cat? Unfortunately, cat's homes these days don't want cats to be allocated to factories, and that's what we are. As soon as I mentioned it was a company cat for a factory, the answer was no. I'm sorry, you can't have one. Absolutely ridiculous. So you now need a good mouth? Yes, we do. We've got to the stage now that we want a fully trained and professional mouser. So in a factory full of cats, and not a single one of them actually capable of chasing a mouse, the mice are having a field day. Meanwhile, one of the women modelers has come up with her own answer. She's made two clay mice to try and frighten off the real ones. I'm sorry if you're disappointed that Michelle isn't standing on the desk, but I can tell you she's made a sterner stuff. <laughs> Quite right. right. We end on the national headlines. That is the factory of Just Cats and Company, owned by Paul and Pam Howard. Here we have Mrs. Here that goes around here. 
from the various points on the ring bay, there are guns. There are four guns. And the guns then dispense, dispense it into the working mould. on the ring main, as you can see. We're just topping the moulds up now. It's all hand-done craft, nothing automated here. Okay? Yeah. Well, you learn. After 45 minutes, Alan will um, separate the working mould and you will see how the cat comes in four pieces of the working mould, like so. There you are. That is the cat. And it cleans down the working moulds, so it can be reused. We often get about 50, 50 different ones out of the working mould, 50 different cats, before the, the mould needs to be re renewed. Sponging the lines out of the cat, so it looks like it's a one piece instead of four pieces. Move and it looks like it's one piece instead of being a four piece mold. She's taking them off now. Can you see she's doing the beckling knife? It's all labor intensified. That looks very difficult, doesn't it? Getting it in there, beckling it. kill to be fired into biscuit. He can go around his own kill more for you. Brilliant. Well, the clay goes in, the clay dogs and cats go in, they've been better than sponge and they're now fired up to 1185 degrees. When they're fired at 1185 degrees, they go out the other side. If you'd like to come round here, you can see the finishing product round the other side. All right, wait, just try on. Don't panic. Uh, this, is the, this is the biscuit that's now come out the other side. This clay has now been turned into biscuit. So the biscuit now has been loaded onto some trolleys. It goes now to be selected. selecting department. And Tracy is doing a wonderful job here. She's brushing down the biscuit with wine. All impurities out of the biscuit and any little nodules that are around. Smoothing it down so it'll be a lot easier for the painters to paint. Some miniatures now. That, that 
actual fact she's putting a glass surface on the biscuit so that, so that the painters then can paint on the glass for the long glaze operation. That looks beautiful. Uh, different um, technique and call it. I mean, they say they say they can't do it over there. Well, all right, see, just wouldn't take long to learn the technique. Mm. And the 
this uh, willow, um, is it the willow pattern? That's uh, the last freehand yes. painting, yes. Yes. which is, this isn't so, um, well, depends how you... It's a very skill though. Um, You've got to know where you're putting it, I don't know, you paint. Yeah, depending on what you're doing. Well, I, see, how I'm, how I'm painting now, I'm not making it look very skilled. But you've got to have um, the knowledge in your head. Such a, it's a speed the expert works out too. That's right, yeah. yes, yes. So is everyone virtually different? I mean, you just mm, uh, yes. have a guideline in your head, and mm? you have a guideline sort of in your head, and you just paint which one is really different, isn't it? Well, it's the fact that it's hand painted, isn't yes. it? Yes. You mean, is it on the figures each one different, or the painters? The black and white you say are underglazed? The black and white are underglazed, and they, when I say underglazed, they're actually painted on the biscuit. That's why they look matte, don't they, not shiny? Right. No, it's just the paint on them. Just the paint on them, oh, I see. Right. Yeah. They then have to go on the kiln to be hardened on, right, to harden the paint on the biscuit. And then from there on, they go back to the lady that does the glaze dipping and puts the cats in the glazing tub and puts a glass coat on them. And then they go into this kiln here, behind you, and they are fired at 1180 degrees. And that's the finishing product on that particular process. Second process, if you turn your company, the second process is the people that you visited was the Anglaise department and they are painting the gingers and tabbies in the Anglaise department and they're just drying off now and they go on to the into the Anglaise kiln. This over here is the Anglaise kiln. Anglaise kiln's over there where it's fired at 780 degrees and that is the finishing product the kiln is now open. So you've got tabbies, gingers, siamese, etc, etc. In gloss selection. She's just gloss selected those products there, the Reaching High Black and White Cats. She is now mixing the various glue compositions and putting the eyes in the cat. Promotional thing. Your promotion. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Neil. <laughs> Neil. Neil, you brought these lovely working molds in. I wonder if you can tell us how they're made. Is it is it smart store or what is it?
happen in the end, they won't sell as many. See, you always mind, the reason mine look a bit blank sometimes is because it's a method I use and the colour goes together, you know what I mean? Yeah. In other words, what I shall do, I shall tell Pat, I'll paint them a bit roughy. You know what I mean? Well, so when they fire, they do, you know, yeah. they look too smooth. It's That's what lost a bit of the detail. Well, like. Just that one in the, on the television. That one, what rolls the toilets and all that. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. Oh right. Now, when you get a big, a, a big dog, right? I should say some some dark, like in the body, not the shading. Yeah. I say say that shading and um, might be a bit dark, might be more golden. Yeah. That's why they call golden. That isn't a gold colour. No. That's not a gold colour. That no. body isn't. No. We're not there. Time, was he? No, I, I just didn't know. I just wiped it away now. Forget about it. It's happened. It's gone. It's gone with. Put to bed. Just probably annoyed because he wasn't doing any business and found that somebody else could go and do some business and things. Uh... Yeah. I wouldn't. Uh... I wouldn't do that. Oh, no, no, not a thing. Eight, just, six, just, just, just pretend. Eight, nine, one. I was getting very worried. Right, okay. Cancel memory. Do you want a little lem from memory on that? Just, just, okay. Mr. Paul Howard is an expert on computers. Yeah. Right. Why mm -hmm. switch it on for you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> I have done it, yeah. Give you, give you a newspaper to read. <laughs> Uh, 
Mr. Paul Howard is the brains behind the business. Which is doing the witch business. He's just rude, don't you, next to him? We're having him on the road next week, he'll love that, down in Dover. Oh, yeah. Tell you, you've